big corporations, they stimulate not mediocrity, but almost an ambivalent attitude and a disconnect to the end. You're so far removed from, you know, from the end game, which is serving the, the consumer, that it just, it becomes very, very abstract. But I think an entrepreneur is, you know, he or she's playing right on the front lines of capitalism. You know, their decisions, their efforts produce either success or failure, mm-hmm. income or or not. And it's just a very different game. Uh, you know, they aren't, they aren't as prosperous. They're not billion-dollar uh, entities. But they're so much more fascinating. They're so much more dimensional. They're so much more authentic. And they have so much more joy, I think. Because if you see a lot of people in corporate America, they're not that happy. They're ambivalent, apathetic. They're going through the motion because they get paid a lot. And a lot of entrepreneurs don't get paid as much. But they have more joy and more happiness. Interesting people don't realize that happiness isn't really correlated to making money. It really isn't uh, correlated to how prestigious. It isn't correlated to whether you have a Ferrari or you have a big mansion or you've got the hottest looking you know, woman, wife. It's correlated to, to the fulfillment you get out of what you do, who you do it for, the feedback loop you get and I always was able to understand and appreciate that and how that drove entrepreneurs. 